welcome back to Dollar DIY. I will be showing you a cute little Easter project today. It doesn't take much materials and it's very budget friendly. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, make a comment, like this video, and keep coming back. Thank you. For our next Easter project, I found these adorable little buckets at Dollar Tree. They are adorable. There were some with two in the package. This one had three, so of course I'm going for the three. You only need one of them though. You'll need some of this floral foam. You'll cut it down to size. Some cute letters that make you happy. I have these little silver ones that are kind of intricate. These fun, colorful eggs. I just got them at Dollar Tree also. Come in lots of fun colors. You'll need some toothpicks and some sheet moss or regular moss if you've got some and a glue gun. So we'll start by taking out one of these little cute buckets and it's white right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Waverly white paint, which that's another thing that you'll need. And I'm going to paint it with that. It makes for a great base and I'll use my little sponge to put it on. And then I will be adding just a little bit of this gray paint that I have from years ago, but it still works from Apple Barrel. And I'll use that a little bit over it, kind of give it a textured, kind of hoping to make it look like a galvanized type look. So put the white in here. The Waverly chalk paint will cover this bucket just perfectly. It has the right texture, smoothness, and with a sponge, it'll make it look really cute. Just cover it everywhere and do the handle everything. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of that gray. You're gonna sponge that gray all around the bucket until it gives it a nice little galvanized look. Okay, so now while our cute little bucket is drying, we're going to take a piece of this floral foam and we're going to cut it down to size so that it'll fit inside of that little bucket. And after you're done cutting it, then you're going to place it inside. It fits perfectly, so you're going to put a lot of glue on the bottom so that it sticks inside really well and place it inside, pushing nice and hard until it dries. Then we're going to take a piece of sheet moss going to tear off a little chunk. It's going to go like that. Kind of fill it in. Get some glue on there. Make it so that it just drapes over the edges. And you're going to cover the rest till it's filled in the way you like it. So now you have this cute little foundation. So next we're going to get those cute little eggs and get six of them out. Take a pink, a yellow, gotta have the orange. The other one's kind of a little funky at the bottom so we'll use this other one. We've got green, we've got blue, and we've got purple. Oops. Which makes perfect we need six of them, and I've got some toothpicks standing by. So what you're going to do is take these little strings out. You could hang them on a cute little Easter tree, but that's not what we're going to do. So I'm just going to pull those right out. They come out really easy. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take these letters that I have here, and we're going to spell out, what do you think? Easter! So I'm going to start with an E. For the Easter part. I think I'll pick out this cute little one here. So I realized that these letters were faulty. I had to make do and cut them out and then glue them to each egg, which will work for now. I'm just going to have these little individual letters cut out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on the egg sitting wide face down. Put some glue back there. it on. That won't be so bad. 
Where there is a will, there is a way. Okay, that last one with the R. Now you're gonna take a toothpick, but I'll start at the bottom. So we're gonna take the R, find the middle down below, and stick that toothpick about halfway. Maybe not quite halfway. We're gonna go a little longer with this one because it's gonna stick inside the little bucket there. Then take another stick and put it in the very center of the top of the, that egg also, and you push it in at least a good half away. We're gonna take the next one, which is the E, and stick that on there. And what you can do is in between each one, give it a little bit of some glue right in there. It doesn't have to be a lot. And then you're gonna push them together completely and that'll give it a nice secure hold. Now I suggest, although I love the silver lettering of this, I suggest black. It'll show so much better. That's my tip. And then what you're going to do is put a stream of hot glue down your stick at the bottom. You're going to find dead center and you're going to stick it down into the foam down below. And voila! It is so cute. I hope you love this Easter DIY today. If you did, comment below. I'd love to hear them. And if you're new here, please subscribe and stick around because I've got more Easter and spring things coming that are fun and budget friendly. God bless you all. Take care and I'll see you soon.